Let's step into the next generation of motion graphics and make beautiful cutting edge visuals right here in After Effects. I hope you're doing well today and let's get started. All right, the techniques in this video will allow you to create small to large master scenes, but the principles to take away are how to make 3D scenes look beautiful and even combine them with 2D graphics. So there's a lot of great stuff here, unlike my other videos. So you may want to start your scenes out with a mildly light gray background and draw that out with the rectangle tool and make it really large. Don't use a solid layer like you normally would, but center this bad boy. Now, feel free to add in some text or graphic. You just need something for reference because we should start creating this floor splitting effect now. So with the handy pen tool, draw out a few darkish gray straight lines by holding shift on your keyboard. Make sure everything's in the same shape layer. And while we're here, make all your layers 3D. And what's cool about this is you can click on draft 3D and then extend the viewer to see beyond your composition. For this, I just want to create a sort of grid pattern, but you can re visit this step at any time. Now, let's start with some simple 3D objects. You can use any of the shape tools to draw out a shape and of course, make that layer 3D. For this, you're gonna need some love from the advanced 3D renderer. So make sure that you have it set or if you don't have it, you're long due for an update, my friend. Now you can increase the extrusion depth right here and you just won't see anything because you need to move the Z position above the floor like so. This way now the shape will appear to sit on your background slash floor. Also, for clean 3D, you're gonna wanna set the bevel style of your shapes to convex and you know, that should be good. Feel free to duplicate and create other simple 3D objects for your scenes, ranging from say rectangles to circles, doesn't have to be complicated. But keep in mind, for a clean, consistent look, the shape colors should be the same color as your floor. But overall, this doesn't look like much yet. So create an environment light with shadows enabled. And this should get us into the starter baller club. To get into the elite baller club, try using different HDRs, which you can search and get for free. But when you have an HDR, you can set the light source to it and adjust the light's intensity as needed. Okay, we're on track to make our visuals beautiful. And before we overhaul our scene, ensure that you always produce beautiful work in no time for our free templates, seamless transitions, and customizable motion graphics. All here in our Motion Duck extension, you can add thousands of templates and presets directly into your active project and tailor them to fit your needs in seconds. So be sure to keep your creative flow going and create the best projects linked below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting this channel. So thank you very much. All right, at some point, you're gonna wanna visualize your scene with camera movement to see how much of the scene that you actually need to build, right? So create a camera and use the orbiting tool here at the top. To help you maneuver your camera a little bit better, create a 3D null object and then parent the camera to it and use the null's rotation to help you rotate around the center of your scene. And this could be a good opportunity for you to keyframe your camera or a null object to give you that movement. Now, unless you're blind, you'll notice that your text or perhaps other graphics are being clipped into your floor. You know, this is no good, but to fix this, move your floor back by exactly one Z position pixel. This way, everything will sit on your floor and not in the floor. Perfect. And speaking of which, if you wanna place 2D graphics on any of your 3D shapes, you just need to make those graphics 3D and then make sure that they are one Z position pixel point higher than the 3D shapes you want to attach the graphics to. I would also parent these graphics to their respective shapes so then you can animate them together. You're welcome to use detailed graphics like me that I'm pulling from our UI builder pack or you can go simple and add a line to say a 3D circle to create a dial. But for some real talk, we have two subtle things we need to discuss, shadows. Firstly, you may want to turn off your floor's cast shadows function and then turn off the cast shadows for any of those 2D graphics and titles, and this should prevent unnecessary shadow issues. But furthering the conversation, let's talk about two quick amazing techniques that will truly push your projects even further. Firstly, you can create more in-depth 3D objects when you combine multiple shapes together. For instance, I have this thin rounded rectangle and a 3D circle. By combining them together, we can create something unique. Additionally, HDRs or the light images that you use make a massive impact on your scene. For instance, if I switch out the HDR and change the light's rotation and intensity, we get a whole nother look. Looks awesome. And before you render and to help you save your computer, 
under the render options, adjust your quality and shadow resolution. The best part is that you don't need to max out the settings either. So don't nuke your baby. I mean, computer. I hope this guide helps. Subscribe and always be creating.